Cincinnati Zoo. This might be it. Today, the zoo announced the only Sumatran rhino in the U.S. is leaving. Local 12's Perry Shibley was there for today's big news. And Perry joins us now to explain why this could be your last chance to see an incredibly endangered species. Good afternoon, Perry. Hey, good afternoon to you, John. You know, this is a bittersweet announcement for the Cincinnati Zoo. It's the end of an era as staff members here say goodbye to their last remaining Sumatran rhino. Harapan, or Harry as they call him here, will be sent back to Indonesia, likely in the fall. It's a long but necessary trip to help save the species, and they're hoping that this has a global impact. Scientists believe there are only about 100 remaining Sumatran rhinos, and most of those are on preserves. Now, Harry is the third calf born here at the Cincinnati Zoo and the last Sumatran rhino in the Western Hemisphere. Now he's eight years old and prepared to breed. Zoo staff says it's sad, but the best thing for the species, and that means time is dwindling for the general public to see this animal in person. Hopefully the species rebounds and then there are opportunities for animals to be on exhibit for viewing. But right now the focus is going to be to keep them isolated and to breed them as much as possible. You know, it's just a special thing to see an animal like this, period. Um, that's, there's none of them left, so I think it, it is special, especially, like I said, for my kids and for you know, anybody here at the zoo. Yeah, it certainly is. And this process has been in the process for about a year now. Now, the next step is for the zoo to obtain permits to export Harry from the U.S. and import him into Indonesia. And then they're going to do some crate preparation here at the zoo. But he is expected to remain on display until the move happens this fall. John, back to you. All right, Perry, thank you for that. And uh, Harry will rejoin his brother Andalus in Indonesia. That trip's going to take about 60 hours.